Buridontalgia, Wikipedia article audio. Buridontalgia, commonly known as tooth squeeze and previously known as aerodontalgia, is a pain in tooth caused by a change in ambient pressure. The pain usually ceases at ground level. Dental barotrauma is a condition in which such changes in barometric pressure changes cause damage to the dentition. The most common victims are underwater divers because in deep dives pressures can increase by several atmospheres, and military pilots because of rapid changes. In pilots, buridontalgia may be severe enough to cause premature cessation of flights. Classification Barotrauma most of the available data regarding buridontalgia is derived from high-altitude chamber simulations rather than actual flights. Buridontalgia prevalence was between 0.7% and 2% in the 1940s, and 0.3% in the 1960s. Similarly, Cases of buridontalgia were reported in 0.3% of high-altitude chamber simulations in the Luftwaffe. The rate of buridontalgia was about one case per 100 flight years in the Israeli Air Force. During World War II, about one-tenth of American air crews had one or more episodes of buridontalgia. In a recent study, 8.2% of 331 Israeli Air Force air crews reported at least one episode of buridontalgia. Buridontalgia is a symptom of dental disease, for example, inflammatory cyst in the mandible. Indeed, most of the common oral pathologies have been reported as possible sources of buridontalgia, dental caries, defective tooth restoration, pulpitis, pulp necrosis, apical periodontitis, periodontal pockets, impacted teeth, and mucus retention cysts. One exception is buridontalgia manifested as referred pain from barosinusitis or barotitis media. The latter two conditions are generated from pressure changes rather than pressure-related flare-up of pre-existing conditions. A meta-analysis of studies conducted between 2001 and 2010 revealed a rate of 5 episodes slash 1,000 flight years. Maxillary and mandibular dentitions were affected equally in flight, but in diving, maxillary dentition was affected more than the mandibular dentition, which can indicate a greater role for maxillary sinus pathology in diving buridontalgia. Surprisingly, despite cabin pressurization, the current in-flight buridontalgia incidence is similar to the incidence in the first half of the 20th century. Also, despite the greater fluctuation in divers' pressures, the weighted incidence of buridontalgia among air crews is similar to the weighted incidence among divers. Furthermore, contrary to common belief, and in contrast to diving conditions, the role of facial barotrauma in the cause of in-flight buridontalgia is only minor. The Fédération Dent Air Internationale describes four classes of buridontalgia. The classes are based on signs and symptoms. They also provide specific and valuable recommendations for therapeutic intervention. Sometimes, Pressure changes damage teeth. When the external pressure rises or falls and the trapped air within the void cannot expand or contract to balance the external pressure, the pressure difference on the rigid structure of the tooth can occasionally induce stresses sufficient to fracture the tooth or dislodge a filling. Typically this is seen in underwater divers or aviators who experience pressure changes in the course of their activity. Identifying the pain during a pressure change is a diagnostic indicator for the clinician. Treatment involves removing the void space by carefully replacing the offending restoration, repeating the endodontic treatment or removing the tooth. 